Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, Tim bought me the shirt two days ago, I think. It was the day we went out um, on Sunday. So yeah, two days ago, it's now Tuesday. <clears throat> Tim bought me the shirt because I've been drinking coffee a lot more. It says, uh, <laughs> oh man. It says, may your coffee be stronger than your daughter's attitude. <clears throat> He also got me this one too. It says Mom Life, I think. Yeah, Mom Life. Um, <clears throat> Tim has left. He has to take... <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> he has to take his mom up to the hospital. Um, there's been some things going on with her that I'm not going to get into for obvious reasons. You know, it's her health and stuff that's a concern, but she has not been doing very well. Um, she has had quite a few issues. Um, she's at the point where she can't even like sit up on her bed by herself. Um, if no one's over there, um, she has to stay in bed. She cannot get up. Um, she can't even get up just to go to the toilet anymore, and she used to be able to do that. Obviously, it was hard, um, but she was able to do it on her own, um, and if you guys don't know, I think I've said before on the channel, but my mother-in-law had a stroke about 15, 16 years ago, um, and it's obviously, it took a toll, a lot of, like, a hard toll on her health, um, and here, I think like five or so years ago, she fell out of bed and broke her leg. Um, then like a year later, she fell out of bed again and broke her ankle on the same side. So it's been very hard for her to get up and walk. Um, she would still get up and walk to her bathroom. She had a bedside toilet. Um, she would get up and go to that. And then she would be put in a wheelchair for like family dinners and stuff like that so she can get around the house. Um, but it's just been very hard for her these last few weeks and she's not doing well. Um, so she was supposed to have a doctor's appointment yesterday. The doctor called them, I guess, and told them not to bring her to the appointment that he would just send her to the hospital and get testing done. So um, they're taking her up to the hospital today and hopefully they figure out what's wrong and hopefully they can get her all figured out and things don't end badly, I guess, is what I'm hoping for. <clears throat> um, but, I mean, we'll see how everything pans out. But I got Etsy order, or not Etsy orders, I got Amazon orders today. <laughs> I ordered these alcohol inks. One is Crimson. Crimson, Aquamarine, and Sepia. Sepia, Sepia, it's like a brown. I got those. And then I got this. It is a bottle opener hardware set. So, it comes in a nice little case, which is nice. Which they have taped shut. Um, so, it comes with the hardwares needed for, like, my resin molds. And then, it comes with these screws as well. Um, so, I have the molds to make these, and then I needed the hardware for them. <clears throat> so I ordered the hardware and then these are the exact same things um, I ordered some cups um, so I got eight more 20 ounce skinnies because those are my most popular um, and that's what I tend to gravitate towards for making uh, ready to ship cups so I got all of that stuff today these I got mainly just for the crimson, um, and then obviously the cups and stuff are things I needed. Um, I'm playing with Ella's slime here. It's, I just keep gravitating towards it, but um, she's not allowed to play with that right now, and I gotta get that put up away from her because 
if I don't watch her intently while she plays with it. She puts it in her hair, puts it in the carpet, puts it everywhere. So that's the only attended toy that she has where she can play with it. But she has to be watched like a hawk. Um, <clears throat> so the other day I slept wrong or something and I like pulled a muscle in my shoulders and it's been very sore the last like three days. And then today I was driving over to the post office because I had 10 orders that I needed to get shipped out um, that all came in within, well, since Saturday. So um, they were all ready to go uh, last night and I got them all packaged up and everything last night except for the one that came in. There was a tumbler and a necklace which I got packed up this morning before I went over. And uh, I turned to look to check to make sure I could pull out with the car and I felt something in my neck like pop and now it's in excruciating pain like I can barely even move my head side to side I have to turn my whole body just to be able to see anything that's to the side of me besides you know my peripheral vision I can't even bend down to look in the freezer. That's how bad it is right now. Um, I'm hungry, but... I guess I'll just make a couple of corn dogs. <clears throat> Ella had some eggs for lunch. Eggs and yogurt. And then she just came out and she asked for some Doritos. So I just gave her some Doritos too. Um, so she's already set to go. Gosh, this pain in my shoulder is so bad. I don't understand how it's so bad, but it is, and nothing I do helps <clears throat> alleviate the pain. Um, <clears throat> I can't take Tylenol because Tylenol makes me tired, and obviously I can't be tired when... I have a child to watch. I can't be, she can't be trusted when I, if I take a nap. Unless she takes a nap with me, but that's very, very, very rare that she does that. Um, so, she just cannot be trusted by herself. <laughs> um, just to, you know, play and everything while, while mommy takes a nap, so. <clears throat> She would get into anything and everything, even when she's being watched. Uh. Right? 50, 50, 50. I do this every single time. 150, obviously. 120. Yeah, okay. I do that every time I make food. <clears throat> Oh, I also ordered these today, too. Or not today, but, you know, they came in with my stuff today. Choice refill diaper pails. It's a four-pack. says four refills. Holds up to 1,080 diapers total. There says that they're seven-layer bags. They're just the knockoff diaper genie bags. Um, these are the ones that we go to, though. They're the cheaper ones. But they're the better ones, if that makes sense. We tried the Mama Bear ones, and I don't like those. Um, but I'm going to go in. I need to edit. And I need to relax, because this like pain is killing me. Like It's like right here, you know? Like right in between my shoulders. Um, and I think what started it was the one night... Um, if you guys don't know or can't tell, I've been having issues with my sinuses. They've been so backed up lately and everything has just been bad with them. Um, and I think it's because the springtime is going to be coming in and so the weather is slowly starting to change and everything. I'm not sick. Um, just my allergies. And um, so they've been acting up and I snore whenever they act up. And I guess it's a really loud snore and it keeps Tim awake. So if I snore, he wakes me up so I can roll over, blow my nose, and then I can go back to sleep. Um, however, 
Then one night, I slept all night on my left side. No, my right side. Um, facing away from him and facing towards the wall. So I slept on this side all night and I would try to roll over and the reason why I would like roll over is because my hand falls asleep. I get like my entire hand falls asleep and it starts to hurt and it wakes me up so I roll over and fall back asleep. And every time I would roll over and fall back asleep, Tim would wake me up as soon as I fall back asleep because I'm snoring again. And I could tell that I had just fallen back asleep because my hand is still like tickly and painful. So <clears throat> I would roll over, face away from him, blow my nose, and fall back asleep. And it was just a constant thing all night. He woke me up probably six times that night. He says I he only did it once, but he definitely did it more than once. Um, I'm like, yeah, once that you remember, but like, what about all the other times when you don't remember, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's a battling issue, but hopefully, hopefully it starts to get better and I can get some better sleep. Um, <clears throat> this is just, this is no joke. This is, I can't even manage myself at this point with it like this because it hurts so bad um but anyways got my corn dogs out of their bags um i'm gonna go in edit uh upload everything watch after her drink my coffee and to go out and play with her for a little bit. I was out there playing with her with like playing doctor for a little bit earlier, but there's only so much you can play doctor. That's all she ever wants to do when I go out and play with her is play doctor and it drives me nuts. Yes, Ella? Okay, go into the bedroom. I'll put your chef, come here, come here. I'll put on your chef's apron. Of course, you know, she would do this or pick this as soon as... Come here. That's your chef's hat? Chef's hat. Chef's hat. Come here. Turn. Turn. You need a bath tonight, girlfriend. I'm a chef. I know you're a chef. But you need a bath tonight. Quit. Hey, turn. Don't pay attention to the camera. I gotta tie you up here. Okay, let me see. Say cheese. Cheese. Well, don't you look so cute? I'm a chef. You are a chef. Are you gonna go cook mommy some food? Uh huh. That's your pocket. My pocket. Okay, go make mommy some food. Someday she likes to play with that. Um, not very often though. Like I said, it's more or less doctor stuff. So I'm gonna edit, watch after her, stay warm, and try to relax and get this pain to go away. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Today it's just been one thing after another after another of her doing nothing but bad first she oh, excuse me got into my stuff and got a marker they're markers that I bought for her like a year ago um but she did not figure out how to color lightly with them and colored on everything so I took them off of her put them up figured she could have them again in another year or two when she has kind of figured out a little bit easier or a little bit more on how to properly color and stuff because like right now she just likes to with all of her force down onto the paper or whatever she's coloring on so I picked them up put them away 
Well, she got in, got one of them. Um, color it all over her table and her chair again, as always. Color it all over that. Um, and I found it. Obviously, I cleaned it up. Thankfully, like I said, it was just like a water-based marker. It came off pretty easily. Came out here, started doing something, heard her making a lot of ruckus, um, and then let out a squeal, so I checked out what she was doing. She had my heat press mats and was playing with the TV, and the TV is on like a, it's like a swivel side to side and an up to down uh, swivel TV stand, um, and she had somehow managed to pull it, like, so it was facing more down towards the ground, so I had to fix that. <laughs> then she got into the deep freezer, opened up a fudge pop, and was eating it. <sighs> Ate about half of it, and then the rest of it she threw all over her Peppa Pig play thing, like her little house. So I had to clean that up. Um, obviously, I reprimanded her every time that she did something wrong. Uh, especially things that she knows better, like throwing away the popsicle if she didn't want it, uh, the coloring on everything. Um, the TV thing I just kind of talked to her about because she hadn't ever really done that before. Um, so I let her know, don't touch the TV. And then <sighs> told her she needs to start acting better today or else she's going to go in and go to bed early and that's gonna be the end of. She's gonna get a bath, eat, and then get right into bed. Um, and this was at like six o'clock. I tell her to go play. She grabs her chocolate milk, turns her sippy cup upside down, and proceeds to shake it from the sunroom through mom and dad's bedroom to the bathroom door where I was in. I think I was in the bathroom. Shaking it upside down, spilling milk, everywhere <laughs> and then she laughed at me threw the sippy cup on the floor and then ran away I had to clean that up she got in trouble for that and I put her in timeout because she knows better especially with her sippy cup I put her in timeout for 15 minutes she crawled up on our bed um, she ended up falling asleep I let her go told her she could sleep for a you know, half hour I made her wake up and now she's in the sunroom being cave. I don't know if she was acting out because she was tired or what, but I told Tim, I was like, I'm at wit's end. I don't know what to do. Um, so timeouts have started. Um, Tim is on his way home now from the hospital. I guess his mom got admitted and they're transferring her to a different hospital because they don't have the proper department to run the tests that she needs. I have no idea. So he's gonna come home. He's gonna do garbage and everything um, for his mom's house. And I got our garbage going. You guys can't even see it. Our garbage is going. I'm packing up the pork chops so I can throw those away. I have three packs here done. I need to peel potatoes for dinner tonight and then get those skins thrown away. I feel like I have so much to do and I haven't had time to do any of it because I've been cleaning up her messes or reprimanding her or talking to her, telling her like, what's okay to do and what's not okay to do and I'm just, I'm so tired and ready for bed already. I'm just, I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to finish getting these pork chops packaged up so that I can get her, like, watch her even more, watch her better. Um, like I said, the potatoes still need to get peeled. She needs to get a bath before she gets in bed. I have a lot to do and very little time to do it, so i got to get cracking on it. And I'm probably just going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Bye.